let's take a review of your LT9 assignment. Don't forget your name. On number 8, notice our corresponding angles. So this angle would be 3x. Well, then we have a pair, of, we have a linear pair. So we can say 3x plus 2x plus 45 equals 180 degrees. Or 5x plus 45 would be 180. Well, let's subtract 45 from both sides. And I'll bring this down here to show a bit more work. So 5x equals 180 minus 45. So that's 135. I'll divide both sides by 5. And x is 27. We'll go through that same thing on example or problem number 9. Notice 2x would be corresponding. So we have vertical angles. The difference this time, instead of being supplementary, we know vertical angles are equal. 2x equals 6x minus 144. Now we'll just do the algebra. Let's subtract 6x from both sides. So we get negative 4x equals negative 144. Divide both sides by negative 4, and x would be 72. And there is our work for that problem. On number 10, we have two people, Sue and Daniela, and they're trying to figure out which lines are parallel. And Sumi says that since angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, that makes WY. Notice angle 1 does not touch WY. So Sumi is not correct. If we look at Daniela, she says WX is parallel to YZ because of alternate interior angles. And therefore, Daniela is correct. On uh, number 11, we want to summarize the five ways to show lines are parallel. So we have, we can use a pair of alternate exterior angles being congruent. Um, we can do the same side interior angles being supplementary. We can do the alternate interior angles being congruent. And we can show the lines are perpendicular. On number 12, and it, you can have supplementary angles being congruent as long as they're both 90 degrees.